a pub mate, I'd have got you a pint and a chaser, so it sounds like a good <laughs> him. <laughs> so you didn't even spin a f***ing crumb, mate. Very happy Monday morning, everybody. Um, we just got in the cab. Ain't even started yet. Just put the engine on, warm the air up, because we've got no air in the system. Put the tacker card in. Uh, what time is it? It's about six o'clock in the morning. Yeah, six o'clock in the morning. We, uh, what's that beeping? Oh, it's the air pressure. Can't move the wheel or anything. Yeah, six o'clock in the morning. Just getting everything ready, doing all my checks. We gotta be, we gotta actually be over the load being loaded right now actually, but got in a bit late. So, uh, not a lot I can do about that. But yeah, we're supposed to go to Cowley this morning, which is by Oxford. Um, and then from Oxford, uh, from Cowley, we gotta go to Banbury. Right, I ain't got no paperwork for my load, so I'm gonna have to write down what the mileage is before I set off. So it's three one. I've got my glasses on. Three one zero eight six eight eight six eight. Got my glasses on because I'm so tired. So that's my mileage. So at least I know my mileage. Just need to get some paperwork tonight. And write down what I've done. I can go in there. Uh, right, I've done my checks. I've well, done most of my checks, just got to finish them off. So let's fill out the paperwork. So my name is Luke. The date today is the 26th of June. Reg. Just gonna. Rev the engine a little bit, build up the pressure a bit quickly. Mileage 310868. And I haven't found any defects so far. Right, so, yeah, like I said, I've just got to get everything ready. Nothing set up. I've just got literally got in. Got to get my, my dash cam set up so you can see what I can see. Um, and I could do charging you up as well, because you're a bit dead. And what's this one at? This is at two. So yeah, uh, what we're going to do then is um, get loaded, and we're going to we're going to be going to Cowley Hotbox. So when we get to Cowley Hotbox, my seat's going up now. When we get to Cowley Hotbox, you will see me again, and there will be dash cam footage as well. Right. So we are nearly here now in Cowley. I'll go to Cowley Hotbox. It's the Oxford City Council. And um, yeah, I've, I've been here loads of times, but I haven't actually been for a couple of months now, I'd say. So I'm assuming it's all still in the same place. Got to go down this road, uh, it's called Marsh Road. And it's only big enough for one vehicle at a time. And you've got cars parked on the side as well. It can be a nightmare to get down um, because it's a long way, not a long way, but like relatively long way. And if you've got cars coming the other way, you're screwed. So um, it's a bit annoying, but, but we'll see. We'll see when we get there. So yeah, uh, <laughs> I was half asleep this morning. Um, I've had a knackering weekend. We basically, long story short, we bought a new car. Bought a Nissan Qashqai Plus Two, seven seater, uh, 1.6 liter diesel um, injection. See, it's a CDI. 130 brake horsepower, which is more than enough for us. So, um, yeah, it does the job. It's like um, top of the range model. So it's like leather seats inside, built in sat nav. It's got bloody cruise control, all that malarkey. Make sure that none of these cars are hit. Yeah, um, reversing camera. Actually, not only does it have a reversing camera, got cameras on each side of the vehicle when you do reverse 
um, on the screen it's, it's like a split screen one half is your reverse camera and the other half it has all four of your cameras together working to give you a bird's eye view it's amazing it's really cool yeah the traffic's going I was going to stop then so I did stop in the yellow lines the traffic head's moving planning ahead so yeah it's been a really tiring weekend um, we went Saturday to get the car then um, we had to wait until Sunday so we were, all, we were there all day yesterday as well it's one of those type of things where you don't have anything to eat all day didn't have anything to eat until about 7 o'clock at night I had nothing in the morning nothing in the afternoon nothing in the evening until 7 o'clock it's alright got a nice new car out of it panoramic sunroof the girls love that goes all the way from the front seat all the way to the back I take it he's stopping there then, yeah. He put no lights on or anything, did he? No indication. I didn't see any. Right. Nearly there. Just got to take a right now at the uh, traffic lights. Why has he stopped? Why has he stopped? Oh, there's a bus coming now. He could have gone. Fucking cyclist there. Come on, then. Let's get a crack a lacking. Another bus coming. Oxford. I fucking hate Oxford. They're running to the bus, so the bus ain't gonna move. Alright. Got 14 ton on, so we're not fully loaded. That's not too bad. There, we just want to turn right at these lights. It's a sharp right hand turn though. If there's anything coming out, we can't make it. Like that van there, look. Right, nothing coming. I'm just gonna put my beacons on. You wanna stay there, mate, because I'm coming in. So this is Oxford City Council's depot and we've got some tarmac for them It's just here, look. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and park it in its spot. Get myself lined up ready. It's quite a tight one. Okay, I'm sort of lined up now. I ain't got I can't line up completely because that's in the way. So this is gonna have to do temporarily until they open it up and then I can reverse on in. Are they doing it now? Uh, 
Nope, so now it's just a waiting game. Just gotta wait for them to uh, come and open it up for me, then I can tip it. And then we got to go to Banbury. So we got, we're not going back to our plant. We're going back to Banbury plant. They're actually opening it up now. There we go. You've got literally centimetres either side getting in this box. And a curb to deal with as well. Right, so we're going to roll the sheet up a sec. And then we can start tipping. Here we go, it's starting to come out now. Wants me to go forward a little bit. That's it, all done. Right, it's now I need to park up so I can clean up. Okay, right, so I'm going to clean up. I'll be right back. Right back. If we was at a pub, mate, I'd have got you a pint and a chaser. Sounds a good f***ing tip. So you didn't even spill a f***ing crumb, mate. Right, so we're now done. Just got to put in the twat nav now that we're going to Banbury. Places Banbury Drive. Yes, oh, I've just got to try and get out of here now. Easy peasy. Go on a couple of curbs for good measure. Right, so we've got to go to our Banbury plant now. 36 miles away. Be there in 49 minutes. Which way are we going? Huh, never been that way before. Let's go that way then. Yeah, so that was nice and easy. I had a little bit stuck in the back, but uh, not no big problem. Uh, I don't mean to, bra to brag, but uh, it was only the best tip he's ever seen. <laughs> I 
Right, so actually the last time I come here, I, when I come out of here, there is so much traffic going right that um, I had to stop um, by cars on the left hand side. The, par the, the cars themselves were parked up, so I, I had to stop behind the cars that were parked up so that the cars coming down could get through. But after the cars that were coming through come down, the cars behind me thought I was parked up and just fucking overtook me. They were actually right next to me and I was beating my all and everything, but um, no, they were fucking dickhead drivers sometimes. So you remember how I said that this was a tight right-hand turner coming in? It's also a tight left-hander going out. I've got to go onto the other side of the road to get out, which is annoying for people coming from the other side. And I've got to use up a bit on the other side of the road as well. That's how tight it is for this. That lorry in front will probably get round all right. But um, I'm longer than he is, and I've got four axles, not two. So uh, yeah, as bad as it sounds, I've got to wait until that's completely free before I go up because I need to be on the left hand side. Oh, the right hand side. As much as I can, well not as much as I can, a generous amount. If they want to cross, now's the time. I can't go anywhere. Fuck me, you got a cyclist trying to come out then. Why well, you got your hazards on? You've got your hazards on. I don't know how far in front that fucking cyclist is. She's starting to piss me off. That cyclist went through a red light. Okay, let's go. Yeah, it, it can get quite busy around this area. Never mind. We're off now, we're on our way to Banbury. Uh, and from Banbury, we're going to be going to Tame. Right, hello everybody. We are nearly there now, we're just a mile away. Don't know where this site is myself. Uh, this is the first time I've been here. But, on my sat nav, I have been to another place, uh, well, another, another site. It just looks like it's right next to each other, but I can't actually physically remember what the site looked like. All the paperwork says is that we're going to Bowway in Renham Road. Um, I don't know my sat nav, I've been to a persimmon, persimmon homes on Renham Road. So, um, yeah, I'm just going to flash him, let him know he's got his beacons on. Yeah, we send them off. So yeah, we uh, need to try and find it. Now, as always, I've done a bit of research before I left, typed in the Bowway Homes um, in Tame, and it come up with Hampton Gardens. So we're looking for Hampton Gardens. Hopefully one of these signs will say Hampton Gardens. Yeah, that one there, look, straight on. What's that announced to saying straight on as well? But at this point, because I, because I suspect it's called Hampton Gardens I've got to go to, if my sat nav said turn right, I would turn right, but if I saw that sign and it said go straight on, and the sat nav still said right, I would go straight on. This road's closed, apparently there's a 10k marathon or whatever it is run happening. But yeah, um, so you, you always try and follow the AA signs, which is why I'd like it if they put the AA signs on the paperwork, the site name, but they don't. I have mentioned it loads of times to who I work for, but they don't listen. That's planning office for you. 
So yeah, like I said, I apparently I've been here before because I've I've saved it on my sat nav for Simon Holmes, but I'm going to Bellway Homes. But I can't can't think of my head what it looked like. Normally I'm pretty good and I can memorise all the sites I've been to. I can't for the life of me remember what this one is. Right. Bam Hampton Garden straight on. So there's a site up here on the left. You can see the houses. Is it Bellway? Yes, it is. So I need to go in here. And then we're looking for MV Kelly. Now it's a guessing game, just trying to find them. Where could they be? Put my beacons on. Looks like it could be here. These paths look like they need to be done. There's one of our drivers there. I am going to turn around and park where I just was, but facing the other way. Because it looks like we're doing it down there. So, let's turn around. Oh, it's a dusty site. This is why my cab gets so dirty so quickly. The dust just kicks up. All right, I know what you're thinking, you know, close your window then. All right, I will. <laughs> so yeah, one of our drivers, Lorna, is down there with her body up on the left. So I'm gonna park up on the road as it's on and go and have a word because it looks like we're doing all these paths so yeah I just park up here gotta give her plenty of room to get out Excellent. Right, so I'm going to go and uh, find out what's happening and uh, I'll be right back. I'm not quite sure what he's doing. Never mind. See you in a bit. Right. We're leaving the site now. Um, I don't actually want to leave just yet there. I just want to get around the corner and park up a sec. Just so I can get myself comfortable before I leave site. Right, firstly, Eco. Eco AC is going on. Secondly, I need to take some clothes off because I am hot. Oh, that's better. Whew. It's not a warm day, well I mean it's 23 degrees. It's more sort of like hot and stuffy. Oh, 
to put you there then. Right, so, I actually want to do a bit of paperwork before I leave. Oh no, I can't do any paperwork, because I left it uh, um, this morning. I didn't have any uh, paperwork to write down what I've done on, so that needs to stay in the cab tonight. But my paperwork from uh, Saturday needs to go in. Let's get that there. Sorry, I'm just blabbering onto myself right now. Just trying to get everything sorted out. Right, so, situation is... Uh, time is one o'clock. I am 72 miles away from base. One hour, 38 minutes. And I still need to have a break as well. Um, I've got, I've had a 15 minute break. Uh, and I've got... 30 minutes left for drive time left. So I'm going to drive for 30 minutes, find somewhere to park, and um, have half an hour break. And then go back to the yard. Because I believe we're done for the day. I need to make a phone call actually, just to double check. Uh, yeah, need to make a phone call. Just double check that I am actually done for the day. <coughs> right, here is the situation. I had my break, called my boss up, because I finished working for the company we're contracted to. So I called my boss up to see if there's any more work that needs to be done. He wants me to go to Sean Quarry to bring some 6F5 back to the yard. That is what I did on my last video at the end when I was getting loaded by that digger. He's got his beacons on. Um, no, he's still keeping them on. So yeah, uh, we've got to go to Sean Coat Quarry, get loaded with 20 tonne of 6F5, which is big rocks, and um, take that back to the yard. But while on the way here, I've also got a phone call from the company we're contracted to who want me to do some work for them as well. Um, so I said, yeah, what do you want me to do? Because obviously they come first. But they just want me to preload uh, at Isaac Manor Quarry, get 20 tonne of sand on, and preload for tomorrow to go to Reading. So what I've got to do is do this run of 6F5 back to the yard, then go to Isaac Manor Quarry, which is just 10 minutes around the corner, and preload for the morning. And then I'm done. But um, yeah, I, that pretty much guarantees that tomorrow morning I will be an early start pretty much guarantees it. I expect I need to leave it, but probably between six and seven. My seven's a late start, really, between R5, six. Depends on when they want me to get to Redden for. Well, well, what it really depends on is when they want me to get back. If they want me back for nine o'clock, then I've got to get to Redden and back by nine. So, yeah, which I, I expect is what they want me to do. So I'll have to leave before seven o'clock, most definitely. Anyway. We are now at Hills' quarry. He's got his beacons on as well. Just left over here. I haven't got the camera on the back today because the battery is dead. I haven't charged it up. But um, it's something I've done before, having a camera on the back, and a lot of you guys seem to like it, so I'll try and do it a bit more often. Especially when I'm driving Class 1. On the Class 1 subject, because I'm getting a few comments asking me what I'm doing, this is my last week working for my current boss. I finish on Thursday. I'm supposed to finish Friday, but I'm going to truck fest Friday. Um, next week, I'm, I'm working for someone else, but contracted to the same company delivering tarmac. So I'll be doing the same job that I always do um, in a different lorry. And that new boss gets work out of this Hilda's quarry as well. So for you guys, it's going to look exactly the same, just in a, just, just in a different lorry. But I will have a different boss. But I do want to do class one work. I've got something potentially lined up. Um, just waiting to hear from them as to whether or not I will be doing it. It's, so I'm hoping that in August I will be doing class one work. That is what I'm hoping. Anyway, eagle-eyed viewers may have noticed that I haven't gone onto the Weybridge. That's because yesterday, not yesterday, Saturday, I was weighed. I'm going to squeeze past down here. Um, 
that's when there was a queue. There was a queue of about four lorries and I got weighed on that Saturday. You can come into this place and not get weighed for a month because you've already got you've already got your tire weight basically. So they know what you weigh before getting loaded on their system. But it doesn't really matter anyway because I come down here, I tell them how much I want, they load me, I come back up here and then I get weighed a total weight. As long as I'm not over 32 total, I'm, le I'm perfectly legal. But yeah, I don't need to go on to the weigh bridge. So we're going straight down here to get some 6F5, straight back onto the weigh bridge, get weighed, get a ticket, go back to the yard, tip at the yard. Then we've got to go to Ising Manor Quarry, get loaded with 20 tonne of sand, then come back to the yard again, park up and go home. And then tomorrow morning, take my already loaded lorry to Reading. So um, we're doing all right. As long as we get to Ising before four o'clock, which is when they close, it'll be fine. But it's only half past two now. So I expect I'll be at Ising Manor Quarry for about 20 past three, something like that. We'll find out. We will certainly find out. Anyway, I'm going to get loaded. Um, I will see you when we are just finishing getting loaded and we're on our way back. So we're nearly done, I think. Nearly loaded. Is that it, yeah? I, uh... I think he was messing about with me then. He tried making me think that he was going to put more on. I've got no idea who he is, but every time I come here, he was like a right laugh. Really friendly. Fucking hell. Girl's got some beans today. She flew up that hill. Right, seatbelt. But again, you don't have to wear a seatbelt if you're on a, a public road, a uh, private road, sorry. And this is a private road. But also, you don't have to wear a seatbelt at all on site. I was looking at the uh, the rules, and you don't have to wear a seatbelt. So, which is good. Right, so hopefully we'll be back in the yard for quarter three. <laughs> and then go from there to YZ for, th for three o'clock. Um, hopefully out of IZ by 10 past 3 and back in the yard for half past 3. That's what I reckon. That's my new estimate. Half past 3, back in the yard, finished. Which is an, in an hour's time. So that's what I'm going to do. I am kicking up some smoke. Or oh, some dust rather. Can't really show you. I was going to show you but I can't. What we need now is for no one to be on the way bridge. <laughs> the fact I can see some smoke over there tells me there's a lorry in front of me. Up we go. Slow back down. Yeah, there's a few lorries in front of me, so bit annoying because they can be quite slow on the way bridge here. Actually, he's not really waiting to be loaded. Right, he's waiting to be loaded, he's not waiting to be weighed. That's one less. We've still got a couple of guys here, look. One on the bridge and one waiting. Never mind, so uh, hopefully these guys get off the way bridge soon. We'll jump on. And um, all that smoke I was dragging behind me that is now in front. And uh, yeah, hopefully we uh, get crack a in very soon. Right, so we're just leaving the quarry now. All clear on the right. Sat another saying we'll be back in the yard for... Hang on, it's not actually saying anything. I reckon it'd be just after half past. Just now, there's a car parked on the roundabout, looking at a map. I beeped him as I went past. I was like, dude, you're on a fucking roundabout. But he didn't seem too bothered. Uh, ETA is 
So 25 to 4. So, not too bad. I've preloaded then for tomorrow, got to go to Reading tomorrow. I've got half the tank on me. I'm half tempted not to bother filling up in the yard, just parking straight up. Um, I just go to Reading tomorrow on half a tank because I've got to come back anyway. Unless they, unless they take me to another quarry. Yeah, I better fill up. Gonna have to fill up with fuel. But yeah, anyway, that's today's vlog. Thank you very much for watching. Hopefully you enjoyed it. And uh, if you did, leave a cheeky like. Thank you very much for watching. And until next time, drive safe. And bye bye.